alrighty tidy. We are living in a marvelous age, my friends, because you can buy a good workable instrument, whether it's a guitar or a violin or a mandolin, and not have to break the bank. <clears throat> I wound up, because of varying um, factors like humidity and temperature and stuff, I wound up buying a cheap violin. My choice was a carbon fiber or, you know, a low quality one or low, low cost one rather. And so I ordered this Mandini MV300. I'm, I'm exhausted. You know, I start the day tired, but I'll drink some more coffee. With the full expectation that the bow would be junk, um, that the strings would be junk, that like the shoulder rest would be junk. And I was really only looking for a violin. <clears throat> because I've got other bows and shoulder rest and <clears throat> rosin, and I can certainly buy strings. And so what I received, first of all, was, hey, it came with a, you know, pretty decent student quality case. And that's got the little accessory trap door compartment there, and these have positive um, clicks. These are where the bow goes and then, you know, seals them in there like a, like a tomb even has a piece of fabric that goes over the violin before you close it, but the violin is sitting on it. The zippers are good. The construction is good. The stitching is good. That was a winner. That is a good student violin case. I don't need to get a new case for it. The bow, uh, I'm reaching into the garbage can, is here. I might reclaim that hair for craft projects because it really is horse hair, and I feel bad about throwing good horse hair out. So I, I am going to cut the hair off the broken bow. And the shoulder rest is in the same place. It works, but I like my coon, coon shoulder rest better. I was surprised. I wound up also buying Tomastic Dominant Strings to replace the Cecilio. It comes with a spare set. And I went as far as replacing the D and the G and didn't notice any difference. The Cecilio strings that came with it, and I still had the original strings that came with. I just, you know, wound them up and then put them in the package with the, the, the A, A and the E string of the dominance because they're good. I don't, they're comparable to super sensitive red label strings. So I, I got the violin, or received the violin. I need to be proper with my grammar. Uh, and good case. Good strings, right off the bat, and a spare set of strings, so we're good to go. Some people complain that the tuners slip, but you can cure that by just putting rosin on it. The rosin, I didn't even check it. I have good, oh, uh, let's see, Gustav Berendel rosin <clears throat> that I've had for, for years. Good stuff, so... The rosin that it came with will be blended with some kind of fat and ground charcoal and used for bow and airy purposes. The violin itself, real spruce top, upper plate is spruce, it's not plywood. Maple ribs, maple back, actual real purfling here. If you look at a picture of a violin, you're going to see the, the strips that run along the perimeter. They're either painted on, which would be the case of cheap violins a long time ago, because CNC technology wasn't there. The channel was made with a router, let's not fool ourselves, it wasn't done with little chisels. Um, but real purfling, wooden chin rest, which is nice, ebony fingerboard. I can tell the difference between ebony and painted maple. And although they might produce these and some of them might be made, made, they, maybe, maybe, painted maple, some might be ebony. I was lucky I've got an ebony one. Maybe because I've got a major YouTube presence. Nice wooden tuning pegs that are holding tune. Yes, they aren't fitted as well as my good violin, but they're fitted good enough. It's not slipping, holds tune. Now, right off the bat, I want to I want to point you in the right direction here. You want a violin, you don't want to spend a lot of money. $79, let us say $80 for the violin. If you want a bow, I don't suggest running out and getting a Klaus Becker two-star Pernambuco like this. Pernambuco is a, a rare wood nowadays, and so the bows cost a bit. But... Add $50, if you're in the U.S., a Char, Char Violin Shop, Fusion Carbon Fiber Bow, $50 bow. I would not suggest getting a wooden bow for less than $50. You can spend a lot more, but if you want to get a good quality bow for $50, which is about the breaking point, get a carbon fiber bow. They are made not by Char, but they are farmed out to a factory, probably in China, 
And so if you go to the fiddle shop, which has an online presence, they will probably have the exact same bow for about the same price. It just won't be called the Char Fusion. It'll be called something else. But $50 carbon fiber bow. So you are now in it because you didn't have to replace the strings. And everything else is good. The bridge is cut really well. Sound post is in the right position. Good, good tailpiece. Alloy student quality tailpiece with four fine tuners. You don't need to replace anything on here, but you add $50 to the bow. So we're now up to $130. If you play with a shoulder rest, <clears throat> I, I, don't use the one that it comes with. Just buy a Kuhn. $25. So now we are up to $155. Tack on another $10 when you're ordering your bow. Get some good rosin. <clears throat> if they ask you what kind of rosin, you know, whatever. It's not going to make that difference that you need to go with the, the same kind of stuff I have. Another $10 will get you a good cake of rosin. And so we were up to, a hundred. let's see, 80 50 for the bow, um, 130, 40, 155, added uh, the shoulder rest, another, 165 will get you a good violin. You can shop around, you can say 165 is a lot of money, but it isn't for a good violin outfit, which includes a good bow. There we are with that. I'm looking at this thing, flawless construction, <clears throat> the joints are good, the neck is straight, Beautiful violin. It does have a more fiddly tune or tone than mine. And I could adjust it. Adjust it, yeah. Adjust it. I could get a set of obligato strings, which are a little more subtle and not as bright. Um, but, you know, I'd be in it for another $80, and I'm good for this. You could get Ava Parazzi or any other kind of Caroli. A lot of different kinds of strings, and you can adjust the tone of your violin because each violin favors different strings, and then it's personal taste what you like to tone. But I like this fiddly tone. Good projection, too, and the more I play it, the better it'll sound. Josie Whale style tune. Uh, starting to get into the fiddly mode, which is fun on this thing. I love this violin. $79. That's it. I need to drink a lot more coffee to get started. I have one of my new shiny new employees, Eager, Eager, um, starting at 10 o'clock pretty soon. I'm looking forward to it. She's She as well as Jacob, the other one. Jacob happens to be a person that leads bird hikes for Petoskey Audubon, so score! That's good. 
Life is good. Um, just a little tired, but that's all right. I've got my $79 violin. Thank you for watching. And Rob, I expect that you're going to buy this the next time you, you go through Ralph Stanley country so you can, you can play with the gang. In a place that still starts shows with the Star Spangled Banner. Sweet.